at the end of January, the phenomenon of the moon will again occur to create an amazing view. There will be a total lunar eclipse, which will turn the moon into a striking red color known as the super blue blood moon. This phenomenon is known to have occurred about 150 years ago. In the phenomenon, the moon does not really look blue. Instead, the name indicates that it is the second full moon of a particular month and will not be blue. The second full moon of this month will occur on January 31st marking the first of two blue moons by 2018. This phenomenon depends on where you observe it, it will happen on the night of January 31st, or the morning of February 1st. Reported by the Daily Mail page, Wednesday, January 3rd, 2018, this lunar eclipse can be seen from anywhere, although some areas can only see partial eclipse. On January 31st, the eclipse will occur in the middle of the night, as the Pacific Ocean faces the moon. This benefits Western Alaska, Alaska and Hawaii and British Columbia, said NASA, along with Central and Eastern Asia, Indonesia, New Zealand and most of Australia. These locations will be able to see the lunar eclipse from start to finish. This phenomenon occurs as the moon orbits the Earth every month, there is a point in each cycle where the moon is the closest, perigee, and the point where it is the most distant, apogee. There is also a monthly month cycle where we can see the number of months that vary depending on the position relative to the Earth and the Sunday. Lyle Tavernier, an expert at NASA, says that with the moon as close to Earth as possible, there is a significant impact on tidal currents. When the moon is closest, the tide will be the highest, and the same will happen with a new moon or full moon. These are the ups and downs that could affect the oceans and raise the sea level by several inches. Yeah